Good morning. I'm Shasta, owner of Unique Expressions. I've been in this industry for over 30 years, representing a variety of products for the window decorating industry. This morning, I have the privilege of meeting Joy Wilbur from SoJoy in, in Lexington, Kentucky. Morning, Joy. Hi, thank you so much for coming. Oh, I'm great. excited to meet you in person, wow. finally. So I've been um, doing custom window treatment since 2006 um, when I had kids all at home and I love it and just uh, delved right in and learning more and more. I started off with someone training me how to do this that had been doing it for uh, over 20 years here in Lexington and just have continued to learn more and more. And last fall I ordered the Dramatic uh, with the table rulers from Shasta to speed up my productivity and efficiency when making panels because I'm a one-person workroom and I spend a lot of time walking around the table. <laughs> so I have miles, really, miles. Yeah, I exactly. Have, I used to have people check an odometer. Yes, miles. I usually do wear something to see how many steps I get a day. So, <laughs> um, but I really loved it and it's been fantastic. Uh, Shasta has been great to work with. I have a little bit a different setup where I have my 60 inch table and then I have uh, side drop down extensions on each side that allows me to make a width and a half panel or a two width panel. So you have the edge ruler, yes. which goes on the length of the table. Mm -hmm. And it's been great because um, I have a gridded tabletop, which I love. It's fantastic to mm -hmm. have. Um, the edge rulers are also you know, marked really clearly on this white background that's really easy to read. And that allows you to place your fabric at your length. And then I have it mine starting at a negative 10. Um, so and the that, reason for that is so that, so that uh, the in front of the clamping bar is one or that's not uh, that's where the finished length is the okay. finished length is where this little groove is okay and then when I go up here I like to have enough space above my finished length the top the header mm -hmm. to put my buckram in and turn the fabric over okay if I had it at the very top then it would have no room I see and so, so then and then you start the start of the this is the zero uh -huh. is zero okay. right right okay. and this gives me 10 inches here to add buckram mm -hmm. and to turn it under and to press it so then, then she added, uh, what, two 24-inch yeah, extensions? Just, mm -hmm. So this is a little bit heavy, but what I do, you have to first take off the, you release oh. that down there. We first have to take off this and just pick it up a little bit. There you go. Just pick it up. You pick it up in the middle. And then I have two little um, release clamps. It just releases these legs on the floor right here. And it's just right here. You go watch your feet. Huh? And it just pops down, and that allows me to oh, great. have the extension here on the side. And then you you added, of course, the edge ruler on the yes, outside of that. Yes, edge ruler on that as well. And I just marked uh, where this spot is here. Mm -hmm. I think it's marked at 100, maybe down there. Yes, at 100. And then this is the zero mark, just with a permanent marker, just so okay. I have that. Sometimes it's a little stubborn. Okay. And then you slide this. This is a bracket connecting piece bracket you have to order separately there we go and you just slide them together like that and, ah. you, and you tighten them down this way I kind of hand tighten them a little bit mm -hmm. and then you slide this on the end because it still needs to have back. the gripping piece on the end so it just takes a couple minutes but you have to think about how much time you're saving by having that um, being able to fit the space. I only have to measure this in once and then lock it in. How often do you use this extension? Only when you're making draperies? Uh, every time I do a width and a half panel, I'm using this. Okay. And if I do two widths, I have another extension for that side. Ah, okay. And so then we can just line this up at the 100 inch mark. Now the groove here needs to be oh, lined I up see. right okay. there. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Now I line it up down here and you just lock it in place. It might be a little bit. There you go. Oh, it's locked in okay. place. And so then when I'm wow. doing my width and a half, I have that already there as well. I'm going to make a two width panel two -width using panel. the Dramatic Deluxe that I have with the side extensions. So what I've done is I laid out my face fabric. I've already got it hemmed, laid it right side down. And on the Dramatic, there's a little um, groove here that you put your hem right up against. Mm -hmm. And um, when you are attaching the Dramatic to the table, this groove is, you line it up with the edge rulers and that's your finished length. And so you put that right there and you then, then you lay your lining on top of that and um, just kind of adjust it. And you just start clamping down your, 
clamps because you've got it at the length that you want. So now I know that's the length that I want. Before I had this, I would have to just take a measuring tape and I lined the hem up with the end of the table and clamped it with measuring tapes every so many inches and that took a long time to adjust every single one. <laughs> but now I don't have to do that. Uh, so then I take it and I just fold it over. Um, and I have the negative on my table so that this line right here is actually zero. So I have enough room to add my buckram. So then I just take it and fold it up here because I know that this is zero for that line. And I've made sure it was all level and square. And then you can just hit it with the iron. That's what I usually do to get the, the crease in there. So I just hit it with the iron right here. And then you can open this back up and you lay buck for a minute. Okay. I cut this extra long. Okay, so now that I have uh, pressed my top finish length in at the top, then I opened it back up and then I can see the little groove that I made by pressing. I put my buckram in above it and then I fold it back over after I press the buckram in and trim off all the extra fabric. And I'm doing this rather roughly right now. Usually I would be a little more precise there, but sometimes I like to hit it again with the iron right again at the zero mark. To get the buffer in. And then I bring up my lining. Because I use the low bulk method there where I just turn it under over one time. Then I pull that up. And I usually kind of hit this with an iron too because I can see better if I do that. And see, I'm pulling this lining really nice and tight up here. And then now, I, because I ironed it, I can see the top of the drape better. Then I just kind of eyeball it and cut it one inch, about an inch longer than the top. So then I turn under. I turn under my um, lining and I just kind of do that. This fabric has a lot of stretch to it there. to take a little bit of the adhesive and run it in between there just a little bit just kind of dot it and then I hit it again with an iron and I usually let it sit there for a couple minutes um, kind of letting it set and then I move on to the side hem just easily unclamp just one side and the rest of it's still clamped in and you can turn it over to where you need and I cut off the salvage and you know turn that under and do a three inch or an inch and a half I'm sorry double hem on the side so that's really easy to do because then it's all done at the table. You're pressing this in. A lot because before I would have to, I would do, uh, if it wasn't black outlined, I would pin it with safety pins every so many inches down the length of the drape and then a couple times across the width before I had to pick it up, you know, I'd pick it up and move it, try not to drag it to stretch it. So I would just pick it up and move it and then have to lay everything out again. So doing up to two widths for my business, I charge you know, the rate, and if it's over two widths, then the fee goes up, okay. two and a half or three, because I can do it faster. If it's a width, a width and a half or two widths is, the same, is, a, is a rate mm -hmm. that is um, just based off the length. But if it's over that, I consider oversized because then I have to get start pulling it and pinning it and adjusting it a lot, it takes more time. And if I have anything over two and a half widths, um, and it has a tendency to hang on the floor the longer it is. So I, that's why I have these fabric troughs 
There's one on each side of the table. And again, I got this idea off people from the, the Facebook group. And it's just a little piece of canvas that I've attached uh, to the other side of the table and this little arm that pulls out. And then the fabric can hang in there and that keeps it from dragging on the floor and getting dirty. Um, and also I try to lay it gently in there if I have to leave it overnight or something or allows me to kind of fold it back up easier. Excellent. And they're on both sides of the table. So, and then I just slide them back in and I just attach them with a the Velcro in the end. Once I get my pleats all marked, then I uh, can take it and I fan fold it at that point and then take it to the machine to blind hem it. It's a lot faster and it, I really do enjoy making the panels a lot. It's a lot easier now because when I get done with it, I can just come down here. So on these two, I have to manually pop them like that. But when I get done, I can just pop that up and then, well, this one hits that one. <laughs> and then it releases all the other clamps mm -hmm. at the same, the, the main system. Mm -hmm. And so then I can just take it, like I said, and move on to the machine um, where I need to work next. Good. So. I've seen lots of workrooms and I think this workstation is, is just superb. I really do. I certainly want to thank you for sharing this information and hopefully it will help other workrooms become more efficient. Yes, and, thank uh, you so much. I really for, appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for coming.